Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. One more real quick, and then I'm going to upload these and see if the Lord gives me any more for the week. Okay, listen. I don't know if you've ever had a bone broken, but I've heard of people who have had bones broken, and they didn't go and get it taken care of for whatever reason. So the bones started setting setting, and, and healing incorrectly, which would have caused them major issues had they let it go. But thank God for some folks that have wisdom when we're acting stupid. <laughs> and they force you, they twist your arm to get you to go to the hospital. When the doctor does his x-rays, he looks in and says, oh, we have to reset this bone or you're going to have serious problems. It's good you came in now before it was too late. And sure enough, they take that bone, they knock you out, and they re-break the bone. Say what? Yeah. They re-break that bone. Mm. Now, thank God I've never had a bone broken, Lord. Keep it like that. But I've heard some stories. And now they have to go through all of that all over again. The pain, the lack of immobility. Oh, my goodness. I don't even want to go into what all that that entails. But that is a painful <laughs> experience. I wouldn't wish on anybody. But in order for some of you to be healed, on the inner man and healed God's way you have to be broken a bone is hard a bone is rigid like some of you like I have been all of us have suffered from that emotionally speaking hard headed stubborn but God knows what will break you down. He knows to get past that hard demeanor, that facade, that front. He knows how to get past the barrier. He knows how to break that barrier down. And when the breaking gets done and your spirit develops more and more humility through that painful experience, through the painful process, you start seeing through different eyes with a different heart, different attitude. And I'm telling you, that's when the growth begins. That's when the healing begins. And one of the things that comes with humility is the ability to forgive. Because then you don't take yourself so seriously that you can't tolerate the imperfections in others. You start realizing we're all in this bucket together. We are all some jacked up people, including me. And we all need help. We all fall short of the glory of God. Who am I to be impatient with you when God is so patient with me? Mm. And he's holy, Kadistu holy, without defect. Yeah, I'm not that. I've got a whole lot of defects. So with me and my defects, I should be more than willing to forgive you for your defects. Hello. Yes. So sometimes God has to do a breaking in order to do a resetting and a healing so that we turn out his way and not some broken mess that can't even function and does more damage because of our own brokenness. You can break and heal correctly or you can break and heal incorrectly leaving a mess behind you everywhere you go. Think about that. 
as you humble yourself in the sight of the Lord. He shall lift you up. God bless you.